Hi, Royal Family. I hope y'all are doing well. So this week on this segment of Ask the Queen, one of my lovely viewers is having a touchy situation with his girlfriend. So he is in an interracial relationship with a white woman, and he loves her very much. They've been together for about eight or nine years, and um, they've been through a lot together. But recently, she's been calling him nigga. He told her that he don't like it. Not the word nigga, but he doesn't like her calling him a nigga. And she said that because, like, she, that he should understand that she doesn't mean it in a demeaning way. So she continues to do it. And so this has been an issue for him. He doesn't know, like, how to express to her more than he already has, how he doesn't want this to continue. And so I think personally, my love, that in a situation like this, your the way you feel is important. And you can't be with someone who doesn't understand what really goes on in your culture. And me personally, I don't, I'm not a fan of like myself. I could not be in an interracial racial relationship. I like black men and it's not because I don't, you know, like it's it's just really an attraction thing. I'm not attracted to white people like that. And that's not saying like I don't have white friends because I do, but sexually, physically the attraction is not there for me. And emotionally we're not on the same we can't relate to the same lifestyle or situations. So for me it does nothing but I understand that everyone's love is different. And I understand that you love her, but that doesn't mean someone who doesn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated does not love you. So for her to continuously call you a nigga after you have expressed to her that you, because of the history between of our, between our cultures, that you would not like for her to do that, she keeps doing it. I think that's very disrespectful. I think that, I'm not saying that you should break up with her, but she needs to understand that you feel like you are being disrespected and that the history of the word nigga, because nigga really is not a degrading term. It's a shorthand for us African slang that means royalty. My nigga, my royalty, it's, it's, it's a shorthand. It's, it's, but because of history, that is not how it was used when white people called us nigga. So I understand your frustration. Um, I'm not trying to be, you know, the black girl who just is like, hey, break up with her, but you should break up with her. Um, just because that's unacceptable. It's really unacceptable. Like, you can't use that word. And if y'all have had that conversation and she continuously does it, she doesn't respect you. And you're not breaking up with her because she's white. You're breaking up with her because she doesn't respect your cultures and traditions. And by and she's disrespecting them. That's what this is. This is the ultimate level of disrespect. Um I wish you the best. I know this is a touchy situation with you, especially because your feelings are involved. But I think that you can make the best choices for you because what you have to think about is in the future, if this pertains to go, continues to go along and you just, you know, take it. When y'all have children say you are raising a black man, start to raise a black man with her, she's not going to understand the way that's going to warp his mind because we are, 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 are me raising a black man. It's certain things I can and cannot do because society is not on my black man's side. So I have to make sure that they mentally are strong enough to endure everything that they will come in contact with as they progress through life. Because young little black boys are not considered little black boys by society. They're considered little black men. Little white boys are little white boys who get, who get called kids at 28 where Tamir Rice got called a thug at 12 playing in a park. You know what I'm saying? So they don't consider our kids kids. So you have to take that in consideration when you are opening the possibility that you may raise a little black boy with her. A drop of black make you all the way black. I love y'all. Peace, love, and happiness to you. I hope y'all are living life to the best of your ability and growing and don't let your situations define you you are what lies behind you does not define you you are more than your situation 
If y'all have any questions, need my advice, want my opinion on anything, you know how to get at me, my loves. Make sure you're watching and commenting um, and sharing. Make sure you're sharing. Make sure you're showing your friends. You're telling everyone about what you like to watch on YouTube. Thank you, my loves.